Hey, what's going on, everyone? Glad to see you. It's Coach Jake. I hope you're having a great week. Happy Thursday. It's time for our sports psych session. Hey, so we're going to do a little activity for today. What you're going to need is a piece of paper and a pen. It could be a pencil, a marker, it doesn't matter. Just some type of writing device, okay? Um, and yeah, come join me. I, I just wanted to kind of give you that rundown so you can get ready. So go ahead and pause this video if you need. Hit resume when you're ready. All right, everyone. Coach Jake here from Championship Cognition. Thank you for joining me as always. Today I'm going to run you through a quick exercise referred to as the circles of control, okay? And the, the whole purpose of this is to help better understand what things and circumstances are within your control and therefore within your ability to, to change or improve and what things are outside of your control, you know, and what you don't have ability to change or improve. Um, and this should ultimately help with like impulse control, also your emotional regulation, as well as anxiety. Um, we often want to impress others or want the ideal circumstances to be present so we can feel as positive as possible. You know, we, we all want to live our best lives, right? Um, however, constantly worrying about things outside of your control can be very frustrating and certainly detrimental to your overall health. Um, we should rather focus on the things that are within our control. Um, so that's what we're going to do here today. So what I'm going to ask of you if you do have a sheet of paper and want to participate, take out the sheet of paper, your pen. We're first going to draw a large circle, okay? Don't worry, it's not art class, it doesn't have to be perfect. So draw a circle, all right? And then what we're going to do is actually draw a bigger circle surrounding that circle. My goodness, that's disgusting, but hey, you get the point. So the inside circle, that's going to be things I can control, all right? Things I can control. And the larger circle is gonna be things I can't control, all right? And then what I'm gonna have you do is just simply list what things are within your control, what things are outside your control. All right, so I'll walk you through just to kind of give you a better example. Uh, let's say you wanna be healthy. All right, you want to live a healthy lifestyle. That's your ultimate goal. That's, that's what you're setting out to do. So things within your control. First and foremost, I'll put a little star by each one. It's your mindset, attitude. Remember, that's always within your control, right? Um, what I'd advise is to carry on a positive attitude. One that promotes, you know, uh, happiness, desire, wanting to thrive. Um, typically when you're positive, you're looser, you're not welcoming more stress onto yourselves, okay? Um, and typically when, when you're positive, others want to gravitate towards you. And ultimately there are positive effects on your overall health when you're positive more so when you're negative. Um, next up would be wellness. Your overall wellness, okay? And that includes uh, getting seven plus hours of sleep. We all know sleep is very important. Recovery, right? Um, healthy eating, clean foods, clean foods, um, getting activity every day or exercising every day. All right, so you kind of get the point of the things that are within your control here, right? Um, let's see, you can talk about things you can control, your goals. Setting your goals, accomplishing goals, right? Um, work ethic. Work ethic. In other words, your effort. How hard are you going to work? How bad do you want this? Are you gonna do it every day like we talked about? Get activity every day? Is it just gonna be a light walk? Is it gonna be a hard run? That's up to you. That's up to you. Um, I think the last thing within our control here would be your circle, okay? Who do you surround yourself with? Are you being influenced by people who are positive and motivational, who are believing on you, rooting you on, cheering you on, showing that support? Or are you with a lot of naysayers, people like, you can't do this, oh, you can't lose that weight, you can't be healthy, you know? 
So you, you get to pick and choose who you surround yourself with. That's certainly within your control. Okay, so there's about, well, we have five in total. I kind of broke them down a little bit more, but five things right there that just come off the top of the head. So let's move to the outside circle, things I can't control. So we have all these. I feel like first thing is other people's diet, right? Can't control that. What about other people's thoughts or attitudes? Other people's actions, right? Can't control them. We could want someone to want to be healthy, but you can only leave the horse to water. You can't make a drink, right? Um, what about illness? Um, you can only do so much, but if, if you get a bug, you get a bug. Um, other people's say drive or motivation. Kind of relates to other people's actions as well. Um, you know what I'm gonna put in here is grind as well. That can kind of go into just their overall you know, effort, action, thoughts, just how much input they're actually putting into their overall health. Um, how others react. And now I'm talking about how others react to, to your mission, to what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Um, others' recovery, weather, all right, some of us may think that we want to go work out outside and if it's super hot and unbearable, we can't do so. So hey, maybe you gotta do what's in your control and work out inside. Same goes for, uh, kneel down again, access to a gym. All right, a lot of gyms are closed right now. So uh, what are you gonna do? You can only do what's in your control, right? Um, so, let's see. You're seeing a trend start to build, huh? Other people, other people, other people, other people, other people, you know. What's going on in the world? That's big time for right now, especially. You know, a lot of people are worrying about everything going on with COVID-19, and, um, and rightfully so. It's affecting all of our lives, but Worrying about that isn't doing anything to uplift your spirits, to make you positive. Vice versa, it's building upon nerves, anxieties, um, maybe even making you sicker. Um, I know we talked about goals here, so we can't control other people's goals, right? Okay. So that's just a set of example here. So as you can see, the inner circle is things I can't control, outer circle things I can't control. And again, this was all for be healthy. All right. So it's just a quick little activity. I'm gonna ask of you to try it out. Okay, go ahead and make your circles of control. And when you're done, go ahead and leave me a comment below of one thing that is within your control, one thing is outside of your control. Okay, I'm curious to see what you came up with. Thank you again for joining me as always. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. I'll see you next time. Take care.